In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to add a text box in your sidebar. In this text box, we're going to add your contact information. This feature in Google Sites has been moved. So I'm going to show you uh, where it used to be and how you will do it now. So the old way, you had to go to More, Manage Site, and we've been in here before, and you would come down to Site Layout, and then you would add a sidebar item. But as you can see in this note, they've redesigned um, it, and this is going away real soon. So I really don't want to emphasize this method because it soon will disappear. But if you make any changes here in Manage Site, don't forget to hit Save, and then you can go back to uh, your site and continue work on it. So we're going to do the new way. You come to the More menu and do Edit Site Layout. We'll show you a couple of things. We were in here the other day when we added the extra pages to our sidebar and you can see that it's a different interface. There's a close button here but right here it says Sidebar. This is where you add new, th um, where you edit it. Let's click on that first and you can see you can move your sidebar and make it display on the left or the right and you can actually change the width. I wouldn't make it too wide unless your particular template has adequate room for you to put your text and your other multimedia items. So I'm just going to click cancel and get out of here. Now the other icon here is for adding things so we're going to click that and you can see there's all kind of options if you really get into Google Plus and you want to let Pay, uh, visitors recommend your pages you can add this. We've already added the navigation but you could add a second navigation like um, links frequently used links that you might want to post on your site. So we're going to go here and click add. Now this took some getting used to. When you click add you would think that the text box would open but if you look up here it just says they've been saved and you go but where is it? How can I edit it? Well if you come over here and you roll over, you see that sort of like the placeholder is there. And you just click once in the uh, placeholder will open up. And I'm going to put contact info. Okay. And then here I'm going to put some contact information. So you'll type, I'm just going to paste it in, your contact information. Um, I would just use for now just the general address for Trinity and I just made up this email and this phone number so I wouldn't put your real contact information out of there. Notice you can do all kind of formatting on it just like you can in Blogger and Google Sites so you can decide uh, what you want to do with that and see so you can actually put links in there. So I'm going to click OK and there you see the information has appeared. Now we have to go up here and click close and then we're out of this editing mode and you see the contact information there. How it's displayed will depend on your template that you've used and don't forget that if you don't like the way your template displays the contact information, navigation, and anything else in your sidebar, you can go in and you can customize those items. Change the font, the size of the font, the color. If you want this reverse with white text and a blue background, you can. So there's still a lot of options you can investigate. So I'm going to end this video. Um, try to do this on your own. If you need help, see one of the peer tutors or myself. Thank you.